Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Axiom Verge. We are, I believe, in the same place where we died before. So we can either go down, like right over down and then right, or we can go just down this way. But we're already this way. We're gonna go past the flickering orbs. Alright, this has got to be a game mechanic, right? Like, this disappears or something? Because it looks kind of Cody now. I don't know if I believe my computer's that bad. Please don't be my computer. Tend this way! Oh good, that guy didn't respawn. Hey, he didn't respawn either. Eh. I hate fighting these things. I wish I could just, like, drop a bomb on them or something. How do I get... Ah, you can probably jump up here. Dang it. About over here. About over here. You know, actually, from where he's standing, I don't think that's going to be possible. Oh, bother. Can I mine through this? No? Okay. Well, you know what? He didn't see me. It's that other angry guy. Is that a power-up down there? You're dead! What does this button do? I want it. That's what want him dead. Try and jump. I dare you. Yeah! Net gain! Oh yeah. So many skeletons everywhere now. Oh, those are bodies. Are skeletons? I think they're just skeletons. That was a lot of people. After watching back on the recording stuff, though, it, it was 2005 New Mexico or something, so this is probably the distant future. I was wondering why he seemed so, like, quick to adapt to everything. It's also kind of interesting that despite being a scientist, he never skipped leg day. Like, he's adapting to this world a lot better than a stereotypical scientist would. No? Nothing? Why are there this many skeletons here? Like, I don't see a reason to pile them all up here, especially to put them inside whatever this construction thing is. I mean, if they killed all these people, that's one thing, but they're gathering the skeletons for something. If it isn't dead... Any of them? Nope, okay. Points for trying. I love those kind of points. Yeah. There we go. Just had to lock it. Just had to lock it. Come into the death lasers. Why would any sane living creature do that? Yeah, I guess they're aliens. Or are these just random creatures? I mean, they're probably alien creatures, but... Everything seems to want to be alive around here. So, I'm pretty sure that the red pipe and that background means that there's a boss here. This is probably the exit. Is there a safe point here? A. what do you know? Now in the inevitability that we die, we had a safe point, right? Look how close the safe point is to the boss. That's like super considerate. Thank you. Ready to zap him. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. An even bigger one. Demon. Look, I mean no harm. Please. Can we just talk it out? Talk. Yeah, okay. So my name is Trace, and I got here... Or, I have no idea how I got here, but... Demon. Athetos say kill. Have it your way, then. 
Okay, so that's pointless because it makes it's making a ding noise. These are here so that I can jump over them. Yep. Okay. I need to shoot the, the thing that's feeding in power in the bag. Without touching the rest of them. Which, this is probably the best hand that you're suited for. Why are you backing up? You're just giving me more time to jump over your projectiles. Yeah, you know what? You do you. Do you. Ow. Oh, they aren't green anymore. They're yellow or whatever color that. He looks like he's dying. Yes, I can press the A button and the X button. Profit. Get roasted. Ow! Oh no! My hubris. It was the end of me. I wonder. Nope, the shotgun blast and the tri blast wouldn't have helped there. And that other dispersal ball thing, the purple one, probably wouldn't have hit him as consistently. I need to do that, but I need to suck less when I do it. I think, anyway, maybe there's another platform I'm supposed to get up on or some kind of. You talk too much. Oh, he skipped the dialogue. Right when I was like, man. I gotta skip dialogue, and the game was like, no, not really. You were conscious about dodging. Dodge more, shoot a little less. Jump. I'll shoot when I happen to dodge. Ooh, that's nice, instead of trying to shoot twice. Ah, dang it. Come on! Dodge. I'm glad we got damage upgrades and everything. Jump, shoot, jump, shoot, jump, shoot, jump, shoot, jump, shoot. No! Give me heals! Oh no. Okay, so you need those to jump up on this. He's just gonna murder me now. If we get hit one more time, I think we're toast. That was a poor play on my part. Okay. We aren't technically dead yet. Oh, nope, now we're dead. Okay. One more try without jumping off, because we had the health to do this, I think. We'll probably get more upgrades in the area, too. It looked like there was another one back out in that other area. I just couldn't get through the cages. We could make it. All I have to do is jump and press X, but apparently that's difficult. This place is so alive. I like that it skips the dialogue a lot. Are those... Organic? Those are just pipes, right? They're like tubes? They're kind of... He changes colors pretty quick if you look at him. Or Yid or whatever. But once he gets red, it seems to stop taking damage. I like that there's at least a good tell that you're hitting him. He makes little, like, plink noises if you're obviously not doing anything. Come on, no hit run. We got this. And then he's right in our face. Believe. I wonder how many times you have to shoot him. It's probably like 60 or something. Get wrecked on. Probably not. Can, can I get a sympathy win? I wonder how that thing fit in here. How do these things move around? There's no way it was just built with the intention of never leaving this room. 
I guess actually I don't really understand into alien intentions about. Dang it, I jumped too early. Or not high enough or something. No, no, no. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot a whole bunch and just at an angle or something? Sometimes you gotta hold down the button to jump higher. That's just what it is. You gotta come down quick for that, and then come back up high. Oh, the music's nice. Oh, did we get him? Hey, still got a little under half health. That was a meaty explosion. Yes! Oh, I can't get it all. Hey, oh. Give me power-ups. Yeah, there wasn't even room for it to move from there. Actually, you know what? It wasn't in the room when we got there originally. Maybe it teleports around. I didn't even... I mean, I pressed the A button, but I didn't press up. I guess just jumping into it makes you go up. Profit! See, there's like platforms here. But I can't. Is that a brain stock or something? Address Disruptor. Corrupts or decorrupts weaker blocks and enemies. What? What is this thing? I assume it has something to do. Does this have a charge? I don't think it does. Yeah, like that. The real question is, does it last forever? It appears to. Did I just run around like this to check everything? Oh? Do these need to be corrupted to go- Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to stand on it. I thought it would hurt me for reasons of other things hurting me when they were corrupted. But it seems like the most logical course that we will ride this on to victory. So we're corrupting organic material. Right on! We gotta be getting some good for this, because there was a pipe down there. No, wait, this is the start. This is where we need to go. Disrupt! Well, at least if I keep this on. We'll at least know if it's supposed to be corrupting or decorrupting something, I guess. I don't know what to look to... ...to see if something is or isn't corruptible. Or decorruptible. Did it just come out of the wall? Okay. Trace, turn back! This place is artifact. Like some kind of dimensional rift? What if there's something I need in here? No, it's dangerous. Flotsam, jetsam, caused by breach. Is there radiation or something in here? Well, that's not exactly reassuring. We haven't saved in a bit. She told us to leave. This is probably dumb. Okay! I don't like this place. There's something wrong! Okay, you just have to tank these things out, basically. I can recode these things, but what does that do for me? I feel like this is some combination of stupid. Oh, can I actually not get through here yet? The sides of the screen are doing terrible things. Well, I mean, that solves one thing. If I can't get through here, I can't get through here. Nothing? Okay. 
We'll, uh, we'll come back. When the narrator lady tells me... We're not, we're not really narrator. When she tells me that we're not ready for this, I'm inclined to believe her. Okay. We tried, but at least now... Oh, that freaks me out. You know, there's something here. Set reminder. Do I get a reminder for each one of these? Or do I only ever get one reminder? Either way, there is a room to the right of this that's some kind of spatial anomaly. So that's how they could extend the game to be even bigger. Oh my god, there's just a health upgrade sitting here? Health node. Permanently increases health. We have four already. Oh, what was, what's that, like, code it shows us on the side? Oh, does it make it more likely to give us health when that happens? No, apparently not. Red. Anything over here? Man, that's a whole other thing to look out for, now that I know the walls can be, like, fake. But it seems like the enemies will kind of give you a hint by walking in or out of those walls to let you know in the first place. Straight down! I should have known something would maybe happen like this, maybe, kinda. Okay, you guys are just gonna keep bouncing and clawing around in here? What does it do for me that I can go down there now? You're gonna dig out more, yes? No? Die. I don't need you anymore, I don't think. Ah, here we go. Ooh. You can die now. Size node. Permanently increases projectile size for weapons. Now we gotta check these out real quick. And the spread is wider. And, what else we got? Yeah, that's bigger. The last one, it didn't feel like that. And these are wider too, so it, it covers more in the area that it would normally hit. Yep, these are getting fatter too. I hope there's a lot of these and eventually it's just like... Special beam cannon, super death mega stuff. <laughs> Either way, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later everybody.